I just want to say rest in peace to um, Freedom Front Plus. Thank you. <laughs> Can't take this guy's face. Just grab a cup, you watch him before your weekend. 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 We are five days away from the elections. We're five days away? Five days. It's going to be intense. Damn. Do you know who you're voting for yet? You know who I'm voting for. Bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're voting for EFF. Ladies Don't and gentlemen. We. Don't we? We're voting as, as the show. We're no. voting for. <laughs> I'm voting Freedom Front Plus. <laughs> you know what they said to me? They said, that's good. We'll never lack. You know why? Because we have a black. <laughs> Yo, <geez>. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know we're like two minutes in this thing. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe it's because I saw the ad today. They dropped the ad. They, yeah, the ad is like so a test of everybody dropped. Yeah, that's that's what we're <laughs> it's a, the battle. Of, it's, <laughs> that's what I said. It's the battle of battle agencies. Of the <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what's weird with the Freedom From Plus ad? The leader speaks of like everyone else is doing, and then to my surprise, I think somewhere in the middle of the ad. There's some buff Indian guy who speaks. He's like, sir, you know, you're paid to be here. You did not choose to join the Freedom Front Plus. They do everything in Afrikaans. You really want us to believe that you have a multiracial party. Oh, please. They, they do their speech. So he was speaking Afrikaans? Yeah, everyone else spoke Afrikaans. Oh, no, no, no wait. Was the, the ad was in English. But every time I've seen this man speak, it's always in Afrikaans. All the other yeah. videos he puts up, it's yeah. like, you speak in Afrikaans, now your ad is yeah. in English. But which doesn't make sense, because like, which South Africa is that? Yep. That's Oranya. That's yep. that other place. Yeah, his slogan on his posters are, let's rebuild. I have to do it in that accent, because he represents a certain, <laughs> yeah. It's let's rebuild. Rebuild <laughs> what? Exactly. Make South Africa great again. <laughs> that's, that's what scares me, like, <laughs> rebuild the party. What are we talking about? Because you look yeah, as old yeah, as, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. what are we rebuilding? And I, that's how I feel about the DA too. I just feel like, you know what, like, like those guys are those, you know, those Afrikaans guys that stand on, look, we felt like apartheid was popping, bro. And we're going <laughs> to run it back. You know, like those are those guys. Then I feel like DA, uh, like some of the white people we went to school with. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can see that. We're cool. We can hang. But if it really came down with it. We might want to roll with those guys. Yeah. Um, I think they just, they, the, they've they become, DA's become a buffer in between. So people kind of want to agree with, well, I want to agree with the old EFF, the, the old EFF when they began, when they were like about helping people out and about helping the poor. And EFF? Like, yeah. It looks like the narrative and the messaging has changed. That's why I'm, that's why I'm a bit like on the fence with them. Um, why do you think it changed? What makes you think yeah? Uh, uh donors have changed. Okay. Um so donors donors influence your messaging. That's why they all the top three almost sound like each other. They just make it fit for their audience. Okay. Um but what I was trying to say with DA DA's the people voting DA are the people who are just tired of ANC. They want the same ANC, just give us the white ANC. <laughs> mm, just just give us model C ANC. With no matrix. Educated box. <laughs> <laughs> no matrix. I can't. No, because every time I hear this man speaks, like, how did you become the leader? There is no way in the pool of members you have. Who's this? John. John Stenison. Oh, yeah. yeah. There is oh, no yeah, the guy, way man. that was your yeah. best option after Musi. Nah, not after Musi. That's confusing. Who, who like, decides Moosey, the quality? Musi after... No, what is the order? Was it Helen Zilla, then the colored lady? Or was the colored lady No, the colored lady just, uh, what's the word? And they join? Coalition? Yeah, because she was ID, in the, in the independent. Do you know which, which colored lady I'm talking about, Patricia right? Patricia DeLille. Yeah, 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 yeah Patricia yeah. DeLille. She, yeah, she formed, she gave, basically gave her people to DA. To a DA? Yeah. Was and she never she president out. of the DA? No. No, she wasn't? No. But oh, she actually okay, should have okay. been after giving, because she did a lot yeah, of work before. Yeah. It's like, why did yeah. you not, why was she not the next person? In charge. Oh, I wonder why um, I was that. Okay, so it was Helen Zilla then Musi. Yeah, 
And then, I mean, then there was the rise of Herman when he took over was Joburg. Um, yes, and he did I pretty that. well. I remember that. And then Helen Zilla said, "I got a bag from that." Really? Yeah, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. And then Helen Zilla said, "Too much black power." <laughs> I like Malcolm King. Um, I like uh, not Malcolm King. I like Dr. Luther King with the speech. Have a speech and sit down. <laughs> Don't do shit because you're making me look bad. <laughs> Helen Zilla was hectic, guys. And Herman was doing stuff. I'm not, I don't think he's the guy now. I know people saying Action SA looks like they're showing stuff. I, if No one's showing hope in my, in my eyes. No one is doing anything. Because you need, in their mind, you need the position to actually do work. Yeah. Helen Zilla looks like she has Far Roots post on the wall. <laughs> like, she's giving that vibe. Oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that one. <laughs> oh my word. That's yeah, give me good energy, that lady. And I've never met her. Oh. <laughs> but did you see my mind is ad? Did you see what's his ad? <laughs> <laughs> what's up guys? Welcome to Before You Weekend. Um oh, <laughs> that was good guys. <laughs> um happy Friday. I'm just imagining it in Zilla looking at the like this. You know, you know the 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 decks the yeah. <laughs> oh, the decks to me the decks to me. <laughs> oh no, that's that's a bad image in my head. Oh, it's terrible. Okay. Did you see Bruce's ad? Yeah, that's that what, one. That's what yesterday. You know Charlemagne's meme that nah, that ain't it when Safari was freestyling. <laughs> no. When I saw that ad, I was like, nah, nah, that ain't it. What are you doing? <laughs> like I know people going, oh, that part at the end is funny. It's Sorry, tacky. I'm dying because Safari's verse was so bad. <laughs> Safari's freestyle. <laughs> it was so bad. It was bad. <laughs> Charlemagne with a straight face just went. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be that honest with some creatives out there in the world. And they go, Can you see my work? No, I don't want to see it. Oh man. I watched that I watched the ad, dog. I watched the ad. He's he's doing the whole Jenga thing. And so no, let me give context, right? So when I come across it, this person captioned like they tweet, the last part killed me. But now you must understand that's a clickbait line, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, it's Vusi, my money. I haven't seen this clip, mm. but it's probably clickbait. It's probably, probably nothing funny, but let me just watch the clip to watch the clip. Mm. I watched the clip. Right at the end, the person brings that other <laughs> He says, hi, Zuma. I, hi, Cyril. Yo, I was so done, bro. Really? Like, Did that work so, for you? Huh? It was whack. It's lame. Yeah, that's what I, I just laugh, I laughed because I was like, I didn't expect that. Why would you put that in? For me, DA would have done that. <laughs> but say yeah it's DA light it's a dupe of DA that's what bothered me like come what's, on what's the name of his party again bold one South Africa yeah because sure. uh, this what I, so for me is not even creative but he's got a he's got a great team of ladies and that's what bothered me like you guys came up with a concept but you didn't full you didn't fulfill the vision of what this video could have been you got a man speaking in front of a camera who's supposed to be the leader of the party playing Jenga come on get serious I that was an interesting idea, but it, it needed more meat. It was just a skeleton. So they needed a better agency. Yep. <laughs> cool. Now, now, Africa. <laughs> when you're ready to actually do stuff, we, we're ready to serve you. I think the concept of, and, I, and they all don't get this, the concept of pulling down to build doesn't work. Like it doesn't. Which is yep. why, which is why, it's also one of the reasons EFF has made so much ground. Yeah, I, okay. Because they did it in a certain context and place. If you if you pay attention to how Julius speaks and when he speaks, he attacks the specific individuals in parliament. But outside of that, he keeps the focus on EFF. Yeah. So when he talks about certain individuals, he says they... Mm. And them, the mm. people that he never mentions name, he never mentions party. Mm. Whereas the other parties miss that thing. It's actually a very powerful thing. I get that. I'm waiting to see the party that goes, guys. So we did get Oppenheimer's money. Uh, we've done, we've built three orphanages. We acquired this land. We have 100 people harvesting. We've 
be putting our own self-trained military or security on in the most dangerous I guess townships or whatever to make sure we've heard there's issues here so these are solutions it's currently happening these are the results that's the party I'm voting for because you didn't need to be called president to make shit happen you deserve to be called president now I hear you that's a leader for I'm me. gonna go to Stellenbosch I'll tell the boys <laughs> call me <laughs> They must pull up no, my, TK my, for president. No, my problem is my accents. If all the blacks are going to go, ah, <laughs> this man will steal. You thought Cyril's going to steal? That accent will steal everything. I think my accent doesn't work for me. You think, you think that's why Musi will become <laughs> president? Musi. I mean, Musi. Oh, no. Because of the accent? Because he's something like, something like a clever black. I get what you're saying, but there's something about him that just feels distrusting. I can't, I don't know if it's a persona thing or. He, he feels fake. He sounds fake. It's that, and and I understand, especially as Africans, we're very private with our family, so he's hiding his white wife and whatever else. And I had to say it like that, so you can see where I'm going. It's, I don't know. I would have gone with, I want to show you what a healthy family looks like. We don't have it all together, but we're doing stuff. And Hillary Clinton tried to do that when she was running. Yeah. Healthy families mean a healthy country. That's very good. America point. plays that thing well, though, the family thing. Yeah. They, I feel like if I had to take a page from you know like running when you're running for presidency or when you're running for because we don't actually sorry that's an incomplete sentence but we don't play into or portray the family aspect and i feel like it's such an important 100 element As africans right? but think about it like you don't excuse me i apologize you don't see any of the guys or family uh leaders with families with their families or with their wives like that that bothers me and even when so when they're running even after they run it's like a cameo thing like we see we see um cyril's wife at the inauguration mm. or at the um, state of the nation excuse yeah. me actually that's actually what i'm saying state of the nation but in between there it's like sh we know she's there but people probably don't even know her name facts mm. it's crazy right because like like how many people have seen musi's wife yeah like if she walked here like no oh, no yeah, no that's, that's, do yeah. you know do you know Musu, my money's wife you get what i'm saying mm. it's crazy and i think that's what if you pull the family card you're pulling on uh I don't, I don't know what the jargon is. You guys can correct it in the comments. But you're pulling on, on, on an emotional string that connects everybody. Because that's what makes us human. Family. Yeah. So when you pull up, this is my family, these are my daughters. That's, that was one of Obama's really good things. The way he mm. celebrates Michelle. The way he talks mm. about his daughters. That's mm. why people can go, mm. yeah, there's some skeletons in your closet. But there's something about your family that just looks beautiful. We have mm. to just have you in front. I, I, I get that. And I hear you. I agree. It's almost like everybody's just running for... And maybe that's the disconnect also. Like, they're just running for to be CEO yes. of a company. Yeah. And not to lead the people. Yeah. Like, the way I lead my family at yes. home. And it's also to what you're saying. Like, what's the example that you're a good leader? I guess. There you go. You were saying like, yo, I've done this, I've done that, I've done this. Yeah. Already in almost like in, in my own capacity but mm. maybe let's say pre me being president exactly like i'm not waiting to be president to do i'm gonna it's gonna happen with the yeah, world yeah. yeah like imagine if the imagine if the ceo of gift of the givens oh <laughs> you know gift of the givers right gift of the givers yeah, yeah it's yeah. like NGO, big very yeah, big, yeah, NGO. big NGO. imagine if that ceo is black and he said guys i've done so much Oh, I get think you. it's time I run. Yeah, watch what would yes, happen. Yes, 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 yes. Communities will go, but we've seen yeah, for the past twenty two decades. Yes, yes. Without the help of the government, which I guess why even you know philanthropy becomes such a big pocket for USA. Yeah. Then they leverage that community. In fact, in fact, Pablo Escobar. You're absolutely right. Before yeah, he I mean, ran, he tried. I mean, he had he had bodies. That was the problem. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I mean, putting aside that he was, you know, selling <laughs> drugs around the world. Guys, I've only killed putting aside hundred. that he was just you know, <laughs> killing. I mean, let's put that aside. <laughs> no, but but that's why he almost he almost actually became president yeah. on the basis that he did so much for the country mm. before becoming. As in, we have a president, but this guy right here selling drugs does more for the country. Yep. Yeah. 
than our own government and our own president. Yeah. Which is um in 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 Italy it's the same it was kind of like the same thing with how the mafia came up. And in places like you have like little Italy or you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's because they would they would protect the mafia because the mafia was doing whatever for the community. What what you're saying is yeah. quite interesting because that's also the history of the Crips and Bloods in America. Yes. That it was a, it was to protect the community mm-hmm. before it became what it became. Mm-hmm. Like so it's interesting how how many things start out of pure intentions to move a nation forward. But then again, the government system mm-hmm. comes from um organized crime. Yeah. Like that's the government system comes from. <clears throat> so technically, we maybe we're saying that governments are organized. It's the mafia, criminals. Yeah, actually. Yeah, we've just politically legalized. We, we find ways to make sure we can't get arrested. <clears throat> that's crazy. It's crazy. Um, have you read about the NHI bill being signed in? Uh, actually, no. I have. I have not. I have not. I keep hearing about it, and I keep saying I need to just try get understanding of this. But have you? Do you have? Yeah, I have. I have. I have a fair idea. And I, I, please, if you guys have read it, please also add in more in the comments. But I'm going to sum summarize this. So, the NHI bill aims to, um, I'm going to say it like this: level the playing ground in terms of healthcare, because there's a group, there's a there's a class of people within South Africa that, that can afford private medical medical schemes mm-hmm. or whatever else. Um, and the solution to that is if the government helps help sort that out by giving free health care to everyone, that means even those who can't afford health care can walk into a private hospital and the government must pay for whatever operation, uh, treatment, or whatever that patient may need. Okay. Ideally, so so, <clears throat> so correct me if I'm wrong, direction-wise, even from when you're understanding, it's essentially allowing free health care for public and everyone. Pri- private. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, it, it for all citizens, public uh, to go to private yeah, or so, public hospital. So I can walk into a yes, hospital. And the quality must be the same. Okay, okay. Which in today's current healthcare climate, yes. it's not realistic. Yes. The dream is beautiful. Yeah. That I can come from the <clears> most <throat> rural village and walk into Unitas or yes. Sant and whatever and get the surgery from the best surgeon in the world. And the government will pay for that. But it, funding wise, it doesn't look viable because according to according to the write up, they're saying th- treatments and all that stuff will be covered by the taxes of the people. Now, we know in the country we live in with the people who lead the stuff, that sounds like another avenue to go. Let's increase the taxes for sure, because I don't want to reduce my salary because I'm trying to help. Yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, we're already overspending our taxes in certain areas because we're cutting. Yep. You know? Um, so he's apparently, he signed it off. Yep. Right? Yeah. You know what he said on the day when he signed it? What did he say? Sometimes you don't have to be funny. Just just sign or whatever. He's like, I found my pen. Shut up. Just sign and let's end this live stream. Oh, he's making, he's running joke. Mm. But that joke is over though. I know somebody that works for him and I always wonder like does she not someone on social media challenge said if you guys really believe in this we char- we challenge the ministers to all let go of the medical aid that's good and we know that's not gonna happen okay but then again sorry sorry you remind me of a thought that I had it doesn't mean that your general practitioner is, fr- is covered though Basically, wherever you go, you get the bill and you can go NHI. Cover this, please. NHI go guy, dog. So this is not immediate. This apparently is going to happen in phases. I don't know how many years it's going to take. Okay, no, 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 no. Given. So they basically will then establish a process in which this gets sorted out. So, yes. which I'm underst- which Sorry, from what I'm understanding, what would happen, something like um, the practice of the hospital would, they would submit like our bills. yes yes yeah. which also means doctors would have to wait for doctors would have happened. to wait to be paid by the yes. government 90, 90 days <laughs> I'm curious to hear how you guys feel about 90, this because 
Because, <laughs> and this is how I feel. I feel, should South Africa get great and free healthcare? Mm. At the level of our taxes, yes. Yes. 100%. If taxes is managed correctly, 100%, the poorest person should have the best healthcare. Yes. I believe it. Yeah. My big issue is the people who call themselves leaders. Mm-hmm. That's my issue. The Aaron Mutsoi ladies. Um, I don't know who else is at the helm of this idea because it is a great idea. The problem is I can't trust the people to execute it correctly. Yeah, because already the fact that our medical space is not up to standard. Yeah. I think, let me rather say the public um, public facilities. Yeah. Already, yeah. With that being like, said, we have that issue that's backlogged. Yeah. Already with that being said, like, and I don't know why my TikTok's doing this, but there's a guy I'm following on TikTok whose niche is about abandoned buildings. Yeah. Um, yeah I don't know why that stuff interests me when you read the story and yeah, how, how it looked yeah, and they like yeah, show yeah. shots. I think there's a I think there's one way he does two South African hospitals. And mm-hmm. I I'm I'm curious to like maybe I should have done that research before coming up coming up here. I don't understand how a hospital gets abandoned. When we there's need- always sick people. Yes. How does it? There's so there's always money going around. We have a backlog with places where people don't get proper help because there's so many people that they're trying to help. How are you closing hospitals? That's what confuses me. I think there's I think the ones in Captain Park. I don't know what the other one is. I forgot what the other one. And is. yes, you are right. We, it might sound our question might sound ignorant to whatever the information may be, but I also have the same question. There's no there's no reason to close. There's yeah. always going to be money coming in. Yeah, and hence I'm like. That should have, and I was, I think I had a light conversation with somebody about it, and we didn't dive straight into the bill itself, but we kind of went towards a right idea, just maybe timing not so right, to say your first phase should have been, let's put efforts to, to bring our public, um, public hospitals, like, some sort of a par. Yeah, I don't think it's far fetched for a public hospital to be handled the same as a private. Yeah. Because even, I think it's the same as schools. Mm. That There are schools um, that are public that gets navigated so well mm. that look like private schools or they get run like private schools. I was dragged for the high school I went to. I mean... The, I went no, 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 no. Look, this is what they said because they asked... Uh, um, what was the question? <laughs> they're, like, was they're like, so you guys had a rugby field and a soccer field? Where was this? No, it was a personal conversation. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. And we had a hockey field. Like, huh? Public? Like, yeah, it's a public school. Yeah, we had... And I was like, yeah, we had hockey fields, rugby fields, soccer fields, <laughs> nepo courts, basketball courts. <laughs> like, they were like... <laughs> she pulled back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, public school. <laughs> Mr. Public School. <laughs> like, in my head, I was so ignorant yeah. to go... Yeah. Aren't all that's public not, schools like this in the suburbs? Nah, that's not normal. Um, but like that was a good point you're raising. Yeah. Like, oh, so yeah. Because even I know our school was like that. Like, you know, Sutherland is a pub- public school, but it's run like a private school, mm. you know. And that's when you also get into like understanding um, donations and donors and things of those sorts. You know, we had three fields and a huge ass pool, mm. you know. Um, so that's why I'm like with hospitals. That should be the case and should have been, I feel like that should have been the first phase of this chat because that and clinics, those two, because if you get those standards right, what now you're going to be dealing with, you're dealing with a space that already can't handle, let's just say an, an overflow, right, of people, of casualties for whatever reason, of patients, excuse me, right word, of patients, you're already right now. Today, they can't handle that properly. Now you're gonna put this bill in place. The George Building in Western Cape. Yes, that's still been going on. It's it's done now. Okay. Um, death toll rises to thirty three. Sure. There's still nineteen people unaccounted for. That's the last update I got. Please mm-hmm. correct it if you guys have further information. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's, it's that was like a sad thing to hear. Yeah, that was that was that was crazy. They, that was hectic. Like after we recorded, there was an update. Someone got rescued, who was alive the whole time. Um, he said he tried calling family, but there was no network or whatever. Um, eventually, 
he man family found out because it was on the news and they connected the dots like oh wait my son works there which is like probably scary because mm. um one of the people said whether your eyes were open or closed you couldn't tell the difference between night or day like oh. imagine you're there for days you, you don't you lose track of time you lose track of everything yeah and they don't know how many i mean i don't know how they've with the death toll that with the people that are coming out of the rubble i'm still confused with the amount of deaths are you are you still trying to cover names you are you still trying to hide know. who's responsible you can't say we don't know that's concerning that now nah, they probably I'll, they probably paid a lot to cover that thing though but now once again it's we we are becoming so comfortable with being known as the country where you can get away with things. Yes. Does it doesn't matter how yeah, small, yeah. doesn't matter how big. That's <clears throat> so concerning. Yeah. That we're known like that. Mm. Like it's an actual you're absolutely right. And and, and hence why I keep saying it's the reason why Cape Town is l- turning the way it is. People think, "Oh, it's dope." Da, 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 da. There's so many Europeans and and f- there's so many foreigners in mm. Cape Town. There's YouTubers from America moving here. I, Comfortably, yeah, I, met, like, I met a. It shouldn't I be met, this easy. I met a, a group, a couple, and some friends. Yeah, they moved here. They live here, and all that. Doug, it's, it's actually so crazy. Like, and and, for them, it's the fact that. This is this is like paradise, bro. It really is. It's like, and I never thought about. Only more recently, for the first time, I'm like, I thought about it from an outside perspective, like. If I was sitting in America, mm. coming to SA would be the perfect move. Yep. Because it has everything. Yep. Where some countries are too quiet, right? Then other countries um, don't have infrastructure. Then other, co- you get what I'm saying? Like they lean towards one or whatever the case is. SA is well balanced yeah. in that right and especially if you have money and if you come in with a dollar Ooh. to SA like you're good bro <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that though cuz I, I don't know I've been on, I've been on TikTok <clears throat> a lot especially in the AMs when I'm like when I'm like feeding my daughter <clears throat> like my, it's showing me there's there's like two three Americans who live in sorry can you guys hear me when I do that okay yeah, there's probably. like there's like two three Americans that keep coming up on my thing who live in South Africa. Yeah. And it's very nice to hear the perspective, their, their perspective of South Africa. I love hearing people's experience of how they see us and whatever. But you can hear the comfort of being here. And I'm not saying they must leave. It's just, you came here with dollars and it's of course going to be comfortable to live here now. Yeah, for sure. Um, and, I, I, and maybe I must also call myself out because in my work, I get the privilege to travel in Africa and the rand is a bit, a bit stronger. So when I go to a country, it's like, oh yeah, it's, it's it is slightly cheaper, and I can, I so I can see that advantage. But a dollar to a rand, of course, I'm gonna buy a mansion that costs a hundred thousand dollars, but no South African can afford twenty five a twenty five million rand mansion. Especially when you consider like, if somebody like retires, and gets like a retirement package, you get like a healthy retirement package. You come to SA with that retirement package. Yeah. Yeah, how do you guys feel about that? I don't know. Mm. So I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm two ways about it. But I think for I mentioned it more so for the fact that I mentioned it more so for the fact that then we have those loopholes in our system that allow people to just get away with stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because either because of a status that they maybe have held, or because they've got just this level of money yep. that they've exchanged into. Yep. You know, but it's it's then i think just so much quote unquote just like easier for them to navigate and yep. there isn't those kind of like restrictions that we feel when we navigating either in mm. our own country or in other countries mm. like if you're navigating in america or the uk you know you can't just yep yep you get what i'm saying yep. it's and very hard for it's very hard for <clears throat> african countries to enter uk you can't before, just after colonizing <laughs> like oh whoa, you, now you must pay to enter we're basically paying to enter the club. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> it bothers guys, sorry. I don't know. It's it's Friday. We close to the elections. It's mixed emotions everywhere. We're gonna laugh and we're gonna cry and we're gonna fight. It's four, we haven't disagreed so far this this episode. Well done. Well done to us. 
mean, we become better, you know. Bettering our friendship. We healing. We <laughs> we healing. <laughs> um. Uh. Do you hear about yeah. the president of Iran? No. President of Iran died in a helicopter crash. I mean, got killed in a helicopter crash. I like how you worded that because you know what happened the day after. What happened? The day after? Biden yeah. comes to the mic and says, "We stand with Israel." Again, my brother. Like, have you not watched Scandal? <laughs> have you not watched How to Get Away with Murder? You got a time when you're going to say stupidity stuff. You can't suddenly say we stand with Israel a day after. You don't think we're going to connect the dots? Like, someone's behind this. Because Crazy. you study a long time to become a pilot. You don't just die in the air. Mm. That's what confuses me. There's a, there's a lot. It's actually interesting. It's like, there must, it's like there's a lot that must go wrong for you to... It's also like Kobe's. Yes. Hey, that thing. Like you don't it just. Bugs me I, it, so I, much. I, I, and maybe if you're a pilot, I kind of need understanding. You're so skilled. You can't just die in the air. Nah. I mean, nah. I, I know there was that flight that, that, that made it to the news. Was it London to Singapore or something? It was like yesterday. They okay. said they, showed, they even showed a flight plan where it suddenly dipped <clears throat> 6,000 feet in okay. seconds. Um. And no, I didn't see that. I, I haven't watched. I haven't. I didn't understand. That was their reasoning? Because the the only thing that was on the comments was the pilot lost control. It's very vague. What does it mean? Lose control? That's very vague. Because it's still going in a straight line. It's very, it's very vague. It's very vague. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, no, Iran. That's he, they killed him. Mm. Yeah. Um. I think ironically. When I, it, sorry, and that's because I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember. There's a headline that came up before that. They, Iran was going to do something that Iran was. Going they to helped do. Israel. They were uh, not Israel, Palestine. They, they were, were like helping Palestine. I mean, like a few weeks ago, they were like they were, they came to support. Oh, okay, maybe maybe yeah. that's what I read. Because I'm like, there's a, I'm sure there's a connection. Yeah, that's okay. That's oh yeah. There's one more. Ish. Sorry, guys. Just fix your fix your people. Okay. Um, <laughs> The ShopRite manager, you heard about that? Uh, no. A, shop, a manager of ShopRite locks a 13-year-old boy in a cold storage room because he stole a chocolate. Uh, He's uh, locked for 11 hours. Did he die? Die. Oh, damn. So, of course, the community is pissed. I'm wondering, and I don't, I'm trying to figure out a way to navigate this conversation Yo. because I kind of want to connect this to the Diddy thing. Yeah. Sure. So this so this is my wiring and let's have this conversation. Men, old black men during apartheid were basically abused by their employers. Yes. It was so traumatic they took that behavior home. 100%. And they probably didn't mean it, but it somehow it was practiced within their family. They became abusive in some shape or form sure. or whatever this is exactly, and yeah. some people will say it's just punishment but other people will say that's quite excessive for that little for that little mistake your child mm. or that little thing your your wife said or whatever mm. and it just filtered through and generation mm. to generation that's what we've been seeing and now we've termed it as no it's just this is this is just the consequence of making a mistake yeah yeah i get you um and because that's the only place where fathers have this power or this authority. Yep. That's where my mind went when I saw this story. Like, is it because that's the only place where the ShopRite guy yes. feels like I have power here. There's people who have to listen to me. Yes. And he completely forgot that. He completely lost context of the fact that this is a teenager who stole a chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Why don't you have 20 Rand in your pocket? Like... What you're saying is so accurate because the first thing I'm thinking about when you're speaking, I'm like, it's the fact that when you're at work, you are belittled so much that you wanted some sense of your power back. Mm. <clears throat> so you do that at home with your wife, with your partner, with your kids. That's what that looks like. But then right off that, it made me think of, the f one thing I say quite often to female friends when it comes up or just women and I'm like and I've probably said on one of our lives the scariest scariest person is a insecure male yeah 
an insecure man is like stay away yeah. and that is the diddy conversation yeah it is that <clears throat> you know men that overcompensate by doing stuff dramatically all the time yeah there's an insecurity somewhere yeah because why are you just not calm yeah. why are you not normal in the sense that <clears throat> Where's the modesty or the moderation in whatever you're doing, you know? Mm. But I think okay, there's that as well. But even the opposite, where somebody is like, yes, maybe not as dramatic or whatever, but there's that insecurity in the sense of it keeps popping up for them to wanna assert their dominance or, you know, because you should be able to have a conversation with somebody. If the person's not gonna listen, then that you shouldn't be having that yep. engagement with that person, and then that's where it ends. Yeah. You know, but to what you're saying, it's absolutely right. That's an example. That to me does sound like an example of some man who's been treated in a way or has experience has an experience that's made him feel small. That he wants a place to feel big. Yeah. And he probably abuses whoever at home. Mm. You know, you can the likelihood of that is very high. Mm. Um, and yeah, the, I mean, the Diddy situation is that. Yeah. And. And I think the pattern spreads out so far that it's, it's like, it's not isolated as in like no one is exempt from it. If I can say it like that, like everybody will have a testimony of a, a form of abuse from that person. Yeah, you know. So yeah, that's so crazy, yeah. bro. Like a, a part of me wants to go, okay, <laughs> but maybe there was an other side where he's doing the whole let me teach this young man, like consequences before he grows up and makes makes even worse decisions. Maybe there's space for that. But to go, the consequence for you stealing a chocolate bar is to put you in a cold storage room and forget that there is a, forget that you exist. Mm. I don't know if that's the consequence for stealing a chocolate bar. Not a chocolate. Like, you could have made him wash a car or something. Yeah. Like, wash the car or mop the floor. Yeah. You know, if you, you're definitely going as far as teaching the lesson, you know, okay, cool, you're going to mop the floor. Or... Mm. There's whatever in the back. Take out the trash. Pack the trash. Yeah. Or, you know? Mm. Yeah, but not that. Yeah, that was, that was weird. Um, I think he got arrested. I haven't I haven't followed up on the case. But if you know more, yeah. please add more yeah. context. But on that Diddy conversation, it's such a mess for that man. Hey! Such a mess. And it's, I keep saying it's crazy because I never thought I'd see the day, for sure. Yeah. Like... It's it's such a it really is just a crazy time to be honest. Um, it's I'm a year of exposure. It, I was having a conversation with somebody and it's like, yo, like, do we even have role models left? Mm. Like, who do you look up to now? Mm. You saw the tweet that said, "Oh, you think Diddy's bad? Wait for Jay Z." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've been hearing uh, the Jay Z chats. Uh, I've been hearing the Jay Z chats, uh, uh, and I'm like, uh, I'm not finna say anything. I'm just gonna like just watch. Yeah, like, like okay, cool. We'll see what comes up, but. <clears throat> like think about it dude like all the all the people when you were young and in history class they like write a speech about so and so mm. and you, we all Nelson Mandela Oprah the Pope all them people have scandals yep that's crazy bro Obama Obama like Obama kept the war going. Mm. Yo, like, that's why now I'm just like, ah, oh, it's my mother, dog. Mm. I look up to my mother. Because mm. that's mm. real. Mm. I've seen her struggles. I've seen her wins. I've seen her how, I've seen her saying, yo, I messed up here. I've, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, these people are, they're dark, bro. I think all we're saying is to all of you guys who are supposed to be icons, please renew your Illuminati subscription. <laughs> because... It's going down for everyone. Illuminati is crying. You're not paying the subscription. <laughs> no. I think even for Diddy, I was wondering, like, you can't even say it's going down for Diddy because, like, okay, so he's bi. That works for him. You can't even send wow. him to jail. Like, wow. oh, that's, he's going to like that. Like, what? how do you punish this man? Because you're going to go, I'm going to jail? With men? Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Take that. Take that. For now, to party up in this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> 
can just say Diddy would be the party guy for sure. <laughs> Diddy would be the party guy. Diddy would be oh. Diddy would be doing what he's doing outside, inside. He can he can be comfortable in calling it the Bendover Festival. Wow. He Not he'll he'll be very comfortable. Festival. <laughs> yeah. Uh it's it's bad, man. Yo, yeah. the Diddy thing. When you hear yeah. all the stories coming out, like Not nah, terrible. I, I definitely think it's it's you know it's crazy because it's like I mean, it's even coming off that, you know, Kendrick and Drake. Mm. I was having a chat with somebody. I was like, I'm I'm for this moment. Not even for the, oh, it's Drake versus Kendrick. Oh, da, da, da. Nah, for the fact, just to remind people, and they do it out of themselves now, mm. that we don't know these people, guys. You know? That's why I never came out and probably, like... I'll say some stuff, but you'll notice, like, especially, like, over the years, like, I defend guys less, man. Mm. Because in my big age, I realized we don't know mm. these guys, bro. Like, mm. I mess with Rick Ross, but Rick Ross could be gay, bro. For mm. full fact, he could be. He could be right up out there doing his thing with Diddy. Mm. The only thing is, I don't participate in wanting to push a whole thing. Yeah. You know, yep. hence why, like, with the Jay-Z thing, I'm like, ah, I've seen some stuff, I heard some stuff. All right. With Diddy, we can speak on Diddy because facts came out. Yeah. You know? Um, Aubrey is a lot of hearsay, but, like, I'm such a, I, I'm, like, such a big fan of Drake that I can tell you something's wrong with Aubrey. Mm. Like, he's not okay. <laughs> and it comes out in the way he navigates around women. Yeah. To what extent or the depth of the era... I don't know. I don't have mm. facts of that or proof of that. Well, he's trying to strike a chord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, I cannot go a day without that song. No, no but like... <laughs> oh, you listen to it like that? Every day. Every day. That's the only... Dis think about it. That's the only diss track in the world that had the same effect Pharrell had with Happy. <laughs> go to Twitter now. You're going to see five people quote a Kendrick, a Kendrick line. It's hectic. It's the happy effect. <laughs> Trying to strike. Yo, there's too many. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just like, yo, we don't know these people, man. And the, I think that's why the Beyonce thing is crazy for me. I always call out Beyonce. Mm. Like, there ain't no group of whoever's, of individuals that are crazy enough to think one two three four five yeah i'm like that doesn't that doesn't move me yeah because i'm just like yeah we don't know them yeah and at the end of the day the chats are coming whether you like it or not and you can call whatever i mean she she evaded if you're talking about beyonce she evaded the whole um stealing ideas from african creators or whatever and i mean i still didn't, don't even know it's stealing i know that's how it was framed on twitter because twitter wants to be extreme in, in their messaging um but that's how they put it out that oh yeah all these ideas you've seen on black is king or whatever like it comes from these people here's here's the metadata this is when they posted their concept and if you look at if you mirror certain videos like oh 100 percent. i mean i'll give the alleged lease <laughs> um i mean for example she allegedly said yo wakanda forever did the whole thing world tour no africa on our kind of forever album do me we see you you understand mm. then even black is king that's not her music like um no not black is king lion king A terrible movie that she did right but they did the project yeah everybody did the music then she put a name on it she did one song if she even wrote the song that's neither here or there she's got right mm. whatever that's fine mm. but for me i was just like yo you didn't write these drawings like you didn't because you're the biggest name in that room you just put your name on it yeah and i'm like mm, that's tricky and then again you say world tour no africa yeah like say what you want to say yeah say it but boy ain't no way it's like one of those don't tell me you're about the people nah 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 nah, nah. show me nah then she says she says country album look at how the tours run i haven't seen i lost interest a long time ago. no no we lost interest long time ago but i did notice that mm. so so i'm just like 
yeah you can defend it but what are you defending yeah you know what i'm saying like yeah. what are you defending so yeah diddy's in the mud he's in the mud it's bad for that man mm. it's completely bad for him and there's more coming soon and there's more for sure there is that's yeah. what i was going to say you know unfortunately it's definitely it's ending in only two ways can i please be another race though please <laughs> guys we just need another ah, race that's what do you mean how many of our it has, has nothing to do with race though it has nothing Epstein to do with race is white bro yeah but he's let's have even white those. jewish to make it even worse so kanye's right yeah do you know what i'm saying it has nothing to do with race at this stage at this stage it's just like people just being people bro yeah you know like i mean i guess we we i guess where people are hurting other people call it out please yes do you Fully understand saying? regardless of race yeah 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 i would just like to see can the majority please be not black just guys just do right by your people i mean there's enough shootings in america to cover <laughs> the black t- <laughs> this, look um, it's a those shootings are a very serious thing all i'm just saying is that you know niggas don't just do shootouts yeah like in, where you know civilians I mean, they do drive bys and stuff like yeah. that. But yeah, yeah. What you got? I uh, I got lighthearted stuff now and insightful. Yeah. Uh, things, well, yeah. uh, back on this side, Zintla was catching flag for something she said. Oh I yeah, I, I, I didn't. I, I wanted to get understanding on that because that's also the un- I also wanted to ask about the Uncle Waffles thing. People uh, people are dragging her. Well, online. you'll you'll tell me what that is. I don't know. Mm, go. So so Zintla Zintla was in an interview and she says. Um, in essay pre- okay I'm, i am paraphrasing a little bit but she basically says that essay's issue is not just unemployment is the fact that the youth is unemployable as well so employability that's she's talking about and then she made an example in saying that at you know just like at one of our stores that we were opening for era we were struggling you know to get certain positions filled it took longer than it should have because we couldn't find the right people for the position cool so then what happens is that everybody's just like yo that's tricky for you to say because essays got individuals that you the employment conversation is not just just like individuals that don't don't have jobs it's people that qualify and that's reference to they have degrees we have we have doctors engineers all of those that have degrees but can't get jobs mm-hmm. so to try say the issue is not that the issue is fact that there are no jobs so it sounded like she's placing the issue on people and not government or i guess the employment structure in the country so that's why people were having her by actual fact because they felt like her statement was off i don't know if she's wrong I'm not even trying to defend. I'm trying to think. I don't. Maybe she. Maybe, maybe she didn't articulate what she's saying correctly. Because a lot of the times, especially if you run a business and you run a business, there's certain skills you're looking for that corporate jargon doesn't make room for. Mm-hmm. Because it's easy to go. I need a salesperson, but. To say I need a salesperson that can do A, B, C that works in that has a niche and experience or knowledge in these areas, mm. it's hard to kind of describe in one sentence. Mm. Um, so uh, maybe she shouldn't have said the youth is unemployable. I don't know if that's the case. She should have maybe just once again thrown a shot at how skills development in education is run, and I don't know what's the best way to articulate that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. So it was like fifty-fifty because she was. I think on the front of I understand when she says So initially my reaction was like let me rather say that first my reaction was like hmm that's a bit tricky because excuse me it's a bit tricky because we have a lot of individuals in the country that that have degrees but are not employed or can't get a job let's mm. use that word mm. that that sentence okay cool firstly and then secondly is then the example that she kind of went to which is like you you dumbing down the what it sounded like is that she dumbed down the yo know, what's the word to use because you like she said even to get somebody at my store 
So now you went from a medical degree and engineer's degree, you brought it down here. Okay. That's what it that's what it sounds like, okay. right? So I I definitely realized that everybody's reaction was off that to say, even at my store, I couldn't even find somebody that's employable. Well, it's like, mm. yo, that's not our you, the issue's okay. bigger. Like okay. it's at a doctors, engineers, agricultural people in essay level. You know, you're talking about your store. Mm. That's where it landed a little bit incorrectly. But I do get it because even in what she said, she, excuse me, even in what she said, she mentioned, she mentioned uh, the lack of skills. That's where she kind of leaned in towards in what she mentioned specifically, which, you know, thinking about it and just reading some of the comments or whatever, but thinking about it, then there's the side where she, she, she's right in the sense that and especially when she said skills, because when you think about it, just because you have a degree doesn't mean you have the skill to do the job. Mm. And I think maybe that's that. And and it's not even, of course, not even her fault, not even our fault mm. as a people. Mm. It's how the educational system is, is structured mm. and communicates it. That if you get a degree, you should be able to get a job. Yeah. Which is actually incorrect. Yeah. Because I am not hiring you because you have the degree. Yeah. I'm hiring you because you can do something. Yeah. I, I like I said that because like I even look at some of the, sometimes the people I hire for my projects or in my business or whatever. Yeah. And sometimes I have to go through like let's say for example I'm looking for a, a videographer or an editor and I'll go send me your stuff. Yo. And and for, in the beginning I used to be like conscious of the fact that oh but they won't have my experience. Yeah, so there's yeah. the, there's going to be a standard they're not going to get to until they like maybe work with me for two, three years. Yeah. And hopefully they're somewhere competitive. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um, but it's like, after saying, yeah, no, I'm, I spent four years in this form school. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. show me. Yes. And when you show me, it's like, yeah, no, let me get the guy who's been doing YouTube videos because he understands something. So crazy, that right? The guy who paid for this isn't getting. It's. I think that was interesting. So this chat just it it reminded me of that. The fact that don't forget, by actual fact, what you studied. In fact, maybe let's even put it like this. And I'll even I'll even say it as this is my opinion. I think what you studied, your degree gets you into the room. What you can do gets you the job. Come on. Come on. That's what it is. Because you need to come to a close, Pastor. This is good. <laughs> this is good. Right? Because because when you're looking at the CV and you're going, because what you said, you said, he said, I studied at this film school for four years. You went, okay, come in mm. on that account. Then you said, what can you do? Mm. So out of the four years you did at that school, what is the result that you got that you're saying, and because of those four years, this is what I can do? Mm. And then you go, I right, cool. You're hired. Mm. But now if you're saying I got the four years and you can't present this part, which this part is called experience. Mm. The magic word. Mm. And obviously our biggest complaint, and I think maybe I'm going to be wild and say this. Maybe one of our issues as well, especially as a youth, is that we didn't try to find a way. Uh, excuse me. We didn't try to find ways to get to the experience part. Yep. Because we're, we're complaining about just getting in yep. and not getting the job. It's like, but but I have the degree, but I did the interview, but I, mm. and I still don't get the job because how many people say that? Mm. I apply for so many jobs, I do so many interviews, and I still don't get the job. Mm. Mm. And at the end of the day, it is experience and the practicality of, of what we do, you know, uh, uh, in my business as well. If I'm being honest, it will come down to that. Mm. It'll come down to what you can do. Mm. And that most definitely lands in experience. 100%. Yeah. You know, um, yo, it's such a tough chat, really. And but you mentioned something. Sorry, you mentioned skills development programs in the like mm. in the essay. And we supposed to have we have seaters, and mm. the ideas of the seaters are good. I don't know if it's executed correctly, mm. and I don't know what the constraints are because I've had the privilege of doing some stuff for seaters, and I've had the privilege of like being in spaces where I get to train people and to be content creators. And already, like the, th the like in that specific project, the thing that made me uncomfortable was 
the agency thought they selected students who were already content creators. These are people who had no interest in doing this. They're already running businesses that are doing things like electricity and whatever. They're not. You trying to train them to be me <laughs> in a in in three months? <laughs> what took eleven years to build? You think mm. they're gonna get there? Mm. Like you disrespecting everyone's craft. One. Yeah. Two. It, they, they, there's no desire. If they wanted mm. to do this, they would have been here. They're doing the, what they're doing. What feeds their family, and it's like we need to re look thought. at skills development. Interesting thought on the skills development train. Do you think possibly the reason why I keep hitting the mic? Do you think possibly the reason why creative? Hmm, how do I word this? Creative spaces, creative skills, yeah, let me say creative skills have become right now leading and forefront of income making or money making or income streams because there's so many spaces where you can learn or so many, there's so much information rather than, uh, my trail of thought is this, rather than an engineer, because I'm only going to school to learn engineering. Mm -hmm. I'm only going through a varsity system or a college system. And that's about it. Mm. And I'm not, I wouldn't sit with, you You wouldn't sit with engineers and hear somebody say, I learned that of Google, um, academic, whatnot. I learned that of a short course on Google. But somebody will say, I learned photography of a short course of Google. Or I learned how to do graphics. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, so I'm like, maybe that's why, because it's very interesting now how creative skills are leading right now. Yeah, yeah. Even uh, though, yes, traditionally, being a surgeon, you still get paid. Yes, you yes, yes. I'm yes. taking that 100%. I get what you're saying. Uh, but I think the only thing I want to add to this before we end this, damn it. How many minutes are we in? It's an hour now. Damn it. Sorry, guys. Just before you go back to work. The only thing, the one thing I want to add to that is um, I have more respect for the self-taught person. Most definitely. If I'm like, they, be they might not honest. have all the jargon yeah. down yeah. and all the words down that that someone learns in school, but if someone can go, yo, I've done three BM, I've done five BMWs. They've been running for the past five years and they're doing well. I'm giving my car to I'd that like guy to who learned through guy. YouTube. Yeah, I'd like to give that guy the car. Um, I don't want him yeah, there's and maybe we bias also because we come from that space. Yeah, the, but the, there there is something about the drive in a person that that is prepared to do everything by themselves by any means necessary. Yes, and they they're prepared to pay for their own mistakes. Yeah, when they yeah. and when they get to the five, six, seven years, they go, I've been doing this for seven years. Hundred percent. I know things that the student who read a book doesn't know because yeah. I was in the mud. And I think it also builds. I think it builds when you seven years. Or 10 years down the line you you have this thing where it's like if you hit a wall you can go okay i'm gonna spend the next week night i'm not sleeping until i get this thing because yep. you know how you did that seven eight years ago yeah to figure stuff out it's like one of the incredible stories is um well one of yeah, yeah 40 um mm -hmm. uh, drake's producer mm -hmm. the ovio studio Currently, uh, 40 built from scratch, him and an engineer, and one engineer. He built that whole thing. All the wires, all the small, oh, we need this. Try a song, produce, da da da, listen to the stuff. Okay, we need this, we need to put, oh no, let's change this, this, like that. Mm. Because he learned the stuff from mud. And I think uh, that's it's. I admire that, and it's. I think yeah. it's commendable as well. Hundred percent. Yeah. Let's, we, let's not disrupt people's lunch break. Yes, sir. <laughs> nah, shout out. This was dope. I mean, we we having an okay week. We had an okay week. Yeah. Nothing too hectic outside yeah. of the fact that um, the country's about to change. Do you see Rolex left now? I wanted to talk about that, and then it's Rolex. Tell really? your boss to make lunch. Two hours. Sh Shell's gone. Shell. Ro yes, that's Rolex exactly is say. gone. Rolex is gone. Shell's gone. There's a pattern. There's a pattern. You understand? Yeah. It's an exciting time. Bill Gates Foundation, when are you leaving? <laughs> please leave. I'm just, please leave. You're not, you're doing nothing for Africa. I, I hate it hearing these Westerners and these first world country people saying, we, let's help Africa. Uh, We've never needed help. We're fine. We just need you to. You came to be money. a curse. We just need, Get we just need out. Money. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I guess that's that's really the chats. Um, the elections coming up. Uh, I think everybody should prepare for a change. I don't think I don't think we're gonna we're gonna land like end up like Zimbabwe. That's very dramatic. Mm. But there's gonna be a change for sure. So it's gonna be a public sorry. Yo, this is actually a long part podcast. It's a public holiday on the day. It's a public holiday when you're voting. Yeah. Um Oh damn, are we gonna have an episode next week? I don't know. We have to we'll have to find hopefully. Well we'll try it live with you guys if you guys are up for it. Yeah. Because you guys will be back at work on Thursday and then it's Friday. Mm. Mm. We're going to have a lot to talk about. Okay. Plus, we've reached episode 40. This is episode 40, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank it's you. episode 40. Ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Let the people in the room clap. Let's all clap. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> episode 40. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Thank you very much, guys, for all your, like, all the love, all the support that you guys have shown us. It's really been dope. I think it's just been interesting from how this began to what we have right now. Yeah. And this was originally what we wanted to do. Uh, we had to take a detour and just bring it here. So for us, it's still the beginning, honestly. And we've had fun just like mm. having all the different conversations, getting your responses, seeing the comments, you know, people just saying, you know, I'm always looking forward to this notification or it's always dope watching and I watch it in this different settings. We enjoy that. And we love hearing that stuff because I think it just encourages us as well. Um, just so that we know that our efforts are not just lost, mm-hmm. I guess, you know. So uh, we appreciate you guys sharing the stuff. We appreciate you sharing this to your friends and wherever you just, you know, you've asked to join us. All the people watching from different parts of the world, thank you so much. Um, the most recent one I heard was a, a Dubai and Middle East side, Dubai and Qatar. Shout out to that. Um, yeah, we appreciate that. Uh, episode 40, dope. Yeah. Um, to, to another 40, to another 40. I was going to say to another 60. I mean, oh, to 100. Yeah. To actually, to another 60. Yeah. Salute. Let's get to 100 and then you'll tell us what you want to do. Yeah. We, we need to do a live thing eventually. Like, we, we're people yeah, in I think, the room. I, yeah, we need I think to figure out when we're going to do Definitely that. for 100, I think, like, we'll, we'll definitely make that, like, a, a big spectacle. Or 50. We'll see. We'll see. Or 50. Spring. Spring break. Okay, he's got his diabolical face. You guys don't know what I know. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, stay safe. Um... Do go vote. Let's vote the guys out. You know what I'm talking about. I've been saying this every episode. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Let's vote the peoples out. Um, and then, yeah, invite us to your election party. <laughs> you know they're going to have election parties. Right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Sumo, Maloko. Yeah. The other clubs. With that being said, as Calvin says, bye. I just want to say rest in peace to um, Freedom Front Plus. Thank you. <laughs> I can't take yeah. this guy serious. <laughs> you watching me for you weekend.